Okay, now let's see this example, finding amplitude eh, from displacement time graph. You need to know that for a displacement time graph, the x-axis, eh, the x-axis is the equilibrium positions because x-axis is the center of the oscillating system. Eh? Okay, so this is the equilibrium positions. And just now we learned that amplitude is the maximum displacement from the equilibrium positions, right? So therefore, this is the maximum, okay? So the maximum displacement from the equilibrium position, so this is the amplitude. Eh? Or, or you can use this point or the minimum point, okay? Uh, this is also considered the maximum displacement eh, from the equilibrium position. So this is also the amplitude. That is how we find amplitude from displacement time graph. Eh? We, either we use the maximum point or the minimum point eh, from the equilibrium position, and that is the amplitude. And it's important for you to know that the amplitude has no negative value. For example, eh? okay, so let's say uh, this is 5 cm, and uh, this is negative 5 cm. So if you take this point, Okay, if, if you take this point eh, for you to find the amplitude, okay, then your amplitude should be 5, not negative 5. Eh? Okay, don't give amplitude uh, in negative value. Okay, even though, even though at this point the displacement is negative 5, but the amplitude is 5. This point, the displacement is 5, amplitude is 5. This point, the amplitude, uh, the displacement is negative 5, but the amplitude is still 5, eh? okay? So don't give negative values to the amplitude.